Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Arya and Nicholas. In this video, we're going to be touring Great Wolf Lodge. This is day one. I'm going to have day two, and these are going to be my two videos for Great Wolf Lodge. This is the entrance. In the inside, it has three Christmas trees and three wolf lights on top. The lighting is really good too. It's matching up with the Christmas theme. This whole lodge is themed up with wolves. All the activities and most of the gift shops are animal or wolf related names this is the right side of the entrance this is where you get checked in and get your bands to get into your lodges instead of keys or locks they give you a chip in your band so if you scan it to your door lock the door automatically opens now you don't need to worry about forgetting your key card or forgetting your door code in the hallway where the lodges are the floor is themed up with animal footprints or big rocks even the lights are themed up of animals. They added wallpapers with trees and made it look foresty. For people who bought birthday packages, they have a happy birthday poster in front of their door. I like the idea, so I'm planning to go here on our birthday. This is only two hours away from our house, but me and my twin were still tired. This is the inside of our room. See here, this whole thing is themed up like a tent. I felt really happy and I actually felt like I was in a tent. We even bought this with the patio. Our patio was very spacious. When we opened up the door, it had a giant area where you can walk. It was really peaceful, but sadly the next day it rained so we couldn't enjoy our patio. After we got freshed up, we directly started up for the water park. Outside, they had a giant space where they have some activities like dance party, story time, and they have a frame based on that. It's a really good scenery and you can even take some photos there. To the right of that, you can start off from the adventure park. Now we're about to enter the adventure park. We both were really excited for the indoor adventure park. In the adventure park, to the left side, everything were all shopping stores and candy stores. And to the right side, everything was activity centers. This is the Build-A-Bear workshop. You can build your own teddy bear in this. Kids would really enjoy this. Beside it, there is the yard's blacktop. You can play indoor sports there. It's kind of like a video game. You hit a golf ball in real life and it goes into the video game. Here is the Magi Quest Marketplace. I'm going to explain you about Magi Quest in day two. Now we arrived at all the activities and dining. This is the Oliver's Mining Company. You can get buckets like this and dig in and get some crystals. Do you see that thing beside the tree? That's the ropes course. There were two levels. I couldn't complete the level two, but I completed level one. You're gonna get scared in the middle, but finally it's a really good experience. Below that is the miniature golf. It's called Howlin' One Golf. It's really fun too. Behind it, there's the Northern Lights Arcade and rock climbing. And in front of it, there's a big dining area with all kinds of restaurants. See this bus? It's actually a restaurant. It's called Timbers. You can access it from outside and inside the water park. Beside it is the water park. Now we entered the water park! Yay! To the right side of the entrance, there's the towel center and lockers. You can get a towel by showing your band. Here they added a beach setup with all chairs set it up so you feel like you're in a beach. They even provided life jackets. This is called Slap Tail Pond. It goes up till five feet. And after every 10 minutes, waves start to come and go. This was our favorite place in the whole water park. We both enjoyed it a lot. It felt like I was on a beach in this area. Even adults can enjoy in this pool a lot. See those tents? Those are rental cabins. They're providing all kinds of facilities in the inside. This is Fort McKenzie and Totem Towers combined. Totem Towers has normal slides, but Fort McKenzie is kind of like for kids. 
It has short and small rides. It doesn't have big slides with turns and twirls in them. Below Fort Mackenzie, they have Crooked Creek. It's kind of like a lazy river. You take tubes and sit on it and the river takes you through the pathway. It's just to relax. Behind Crooked Creek, you see those tubes going up? Those are rides. You have to climb two stories to get on those rides. They have five rides in total, and sometimes you even have to climb three stories for some of the rides. Okay guys, bye. This is end of day one, so be on the watch out for day two. If you like this video, like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to click the bell icon after you subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.